Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is March 16th, 2018. And I'm in the old mechanic shop right here, which is where our uh, kettle is, the kettle that we I use to uh, melt our, our wax. Um, and today I'm, I'm melting some uh, beeswax, some old beeswax. And uh, the process uh, um, is pretty much the same. I've just dumped the, the, uh, the wax uh, inside of the kettle right here and uh, heat it up and let it all melt down. It's a lot. It's it's old brood comb, old honeycomb, and uh, it's from cutouts, dead outs. It's just all kind of different types of combs that I've been saving up since uh, last year, and I've got a big bag of it. I've got about 400 frames right behind you that that I need to uh, get waxed. So we're going to melt this wax, and and I've got other wax over there too, and uh, we're going to get all stuff uh, melted down and. Uh, process so that we can apply that wax to our frames. So I, I did it a little different this time. I'm trying a new trick. I actually put a, a, a screen in the bottom of the kettle. In fact, let me grab the ca uh, camera and show you that. And if you look closely, you can see I, I put a screen along the entire bottom of this. And what I'm going to try this time, which I've never done it before, but I've thought about it and I think it might work, is I'm going to actually just try instead of straining out with my old fish fryer, I'm going to uh, let all the capping, the uh, um, the old cocoons and all that nasty trash still just stay inside of um, our kettle and um, hopefully it will be able to get through the uh, the screen, the, the, the wax will be able to get through that screen. I'm trying to save some of this wax, the, the process of how I was doing before, I was losing a lot of wax and I didn't like that. So I'm going to try this way uh, and see if it works. Uh, yeah, I know that all of the uh, nasty stuff that's in there is not going to be captured by this screen because you can see there's holes in it. It doesn't go all the way to the top. But I think it will really catch most of the, uh, the junk that's in there. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chance thing. And if it doesn't work, I can always remelt it one more time. So I got two little bags right here full of this wax. And um, it's just, it's just old wax that just needs to get reprocessed um, in, in, uh, for, for our, our bees. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all this stuff in. I've already got the water in the, in the kettle and we're going to get this process going by the grace of God. At the end of the day we'll have all this wax right here. It's going to be melted down and it's going to be sitting in that bucket. Alright, let's uh, process some wax. And there it is. Yep, it's pretty funky looking. But we're gonna see what comes out of this funk and see if we can get us some nice, beautiful wax. Let me show you, let me show you some of the wax that I've already rendered down. So there's a couple of chunks of it right there. These are some really nice blocks of wax in different types, colors. Um, but it's all good, viable wax, and um, this stuff will be going on to our frames, and our bees will be drawing this stuff out and hopefully filling that comb up with honey. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's check back and see how our old nasty wax is looking, and hopefully we're going to get it to look like that at the end. Well, it's been um, just about 40 minutes since we started this process, and um, yeah. It's all cooked down. I only stir this thing two times and it's all cooked down. I'm gonna grab the camera and show you the really nasty mess in here. And there it is. It is not pretty. But it does look like that little screen idea that I had may work pretty well. And it's pretty nasty looking stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the spigot and hopefully the um, screen's gonna catch all that nasty stuff. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm not even putting a screen on this because there's going to be so much dirt in this that it's not even worth it. So it's, it's coming out there pretty good. And here's our nasties in here. 
I'm keeping an eye on this as well as that bucket. I don't want that bucket to get too full. All right, looks like it's good. Dog. That screen worked very well. And that temperature, they, this stuff was boiling, so uh, I saw bubbles in it, so it had to hit 212 degrees and wax melts at 165. So this stuff is liquid. That big old pile of wax, and we'll be lucky if we get maybe six or eight pounds out of it. I'm just gonna let that trickle out because um, it's still got lots of wax. And there it is. It's all emptied out now. And we have a nice bucket. Let's see how much we got. Uh, we probably, I had about, oh, maybe three, four inches of water in the bucket when I poured it in. And so we probably have a good five inches of wax, a wax block about five inches. All right. That's all we can do for today. Tomorrow's Wrangling Bee Day, so. I won't be doing anything uh, out here, but either Sunday or Monday I'll be out here and we'll take this block apart and see what it looks like and melt it down one more time. So until then, we'll have to catch y'all in the gumbo. And this is what our wax looks like the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this out, see how much wax we got in there. Hopefully it's a lot. We'll find out. Now that is what I call a chunk of wax. That is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape this right, right off of here and uh, see what it looks like. <laughs> now that, that is a chunk of wax. Things got to weigh at least six or eight pounds. Nice, nice block of wax. You know. All right, well, that's all I got for you on this one. I'm going to go ahead and melt this. I don't even think I This is good enough. I can refine this. I see there's a couple of dead bees in there. But, I mean, it is really cleaned out. So the uh, the screen on the bottom of the uh, kettle really did a great job for me. This is ready to get melted and, and uh, put in our frames. So that's where we're going to, uh, the next thing I'll be doing there. So that's all I have for you on this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out here until the next video. So, Mr. Ed, what are you going to do with all this uh, nasty cocoon stuff? Real simple. It's going to the greenhouse compost pile. I might take it over there right now. <laughs>